If you cannot figure out why clients have no idea how much value you can bring them, listen to this. Technical and domain experts often have a communication problem when it comes to their worth. Their clients usually don't want what they need and vice versa. Listen to you as an example. Hi, my name is Jura and I'm a senior software developer. And the key to my problem was identifying roles in the software industry that best fit my work style and knowledge. I had a blast working with Philip, even though it did require some faith on my end, because we gather data from different websites, which was always incomplete. But the end result really exceeded my expectations, and I can now say that I'm an expert with my own story and vision that separates me from all of those generic workers and job applicants, and that really affected my price. I would recommend this module to any mid or senior developer, regardless of work history or prior knowledge. Hi, my name is Philip. I'm a pricing consultant, and it's my job to tell you what you need to know so your price can grow. Yoda is a great example of how technical expertise can sometimes get lost in translation. Besides his technical skills, he has a number of advantages that are so normal to him that he never really felt the urge to express them, let alone ask something in return. In order to raise your price, you have to know who you're focusing on, which is something that we covered in the last video. And then take their worldview and try to see yourself from their eyes. Once you figured out what they see, you'd be surprised just how much of your value they actually miss. That's not a condemnation, by the way. We all have too little time to understand the realities of all of the services that we use every day, even depend upon. For them to understand what you do and what you offer, you have to learn to speak their language. You can't expect them to learn yours. Yes, they do need what you do, but still, it's like, it's like going into a non-English speaking country and trying to sell something in English. It's, it's just not going to work. So the job is to make them understand, to know who they are, and then to translate what you offer into their language. In reality, you're still talking about the same thing, just from their perspective, not yours. It's like building a pair of verbal glasses. Glasses warp the picture of reality so that you can see better. In this case, neither Yura nor his pot potential clients actually saw his full value until he learned to look at himself from their eyes, see what they are missing, and then work to build his case in a way that communicates his value better. I'm not talking here about putting on a tie. I'm talking about shining a light on his good values that are valuable to his clients and in that way get a better price. I hope you found that useful and can now see how technical and domain experts can charge more if they learn how to communicate their value properly. That's it for today's topic. If you would like more tips on raising your price, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Next week, I'll talk about how you can use behavioral segmenting of your market to not just charge more, but also feel happier about the work that you do. Again, with a testimonial and an example. That's it. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Everything changes.